Hello everybody, it's me, the Possessed Rangers fan. And well, you should know what time it is. I'm not even going to say it, except say... Let's jump right into Thursday Night Football for NFL Week 7 picks. Um, sorry, this light is going to have to go dark for a second, and then go back up. There. Let's start with Thursday Night Football. I mean, obviously we'll start with that. 7.20 p.m. on Amazon Prime Video, the New Orleans Saints at the Arizona Cardinals. This is finally a Thursday night football game that might be, I mean, an okay game. Um, better, better than Indianapolis and Denver and Commanders Bears. Um, but anyway, yeah, the Saints are coming off of a win, I think. Actually, no, that, that's not true. The Saints are coming off a loss, I think, and the Cardinals are coming off of a win. Yeah, win. Um, this game, I think the Saints actually will win. I think they'll win 26 to 23. Now we have NFL games, or Sunday games at 12 p.m. Starting with the Cleveland Browns and Baltimore Ravens. The Browns are coming off of a loss, and the Ravens are coming off of a Also coming off. Well, I, I don't. I don't even know anything anymore. But this game, I think the Ravens will win 32 to 27. Now we have the Atlanta Falcons at the Cincinnati Bengals. <sighs> but um, yeah, Bengals are coming off of a win. Falcons are also coming off of a win. Um, I think the Bengals will win 26 to 24. But honestly, if the Falcons win, there's actually a world where it can happen. The Falcons have actually played well this season, so. Next, we have the Detroit Lions at my Dallas Cowboys. I'm not even going to talk about the Cowboys. Um, and the Lions had a bye week last week. But this game, I think we will win. I think Dak should be back. So, if he is, then, I mean, we'll definitely win. If Cooper Rush, I think, will probably still win. But I think we'll win 28 to 13, and that is my lock of the week. Lock of the week. Now we have another good one. Indianapolis Colts at the Tennessee Titans. This team's always split. It's always these two teams running away with that division. It's never, because the Jaguars looked like they could have competed earlier in the year, but they've stunk ever since then. And, um, uh, Titans have played actually pretty well as of late. They started off pretty slow, but they're playing well as of late. Um, these two teams do always split, but I, Titans won the last game, and I think they'll win this game, 27 to 23. Sorry about everything. Y'all just trying to readjust. Okay. Now we have the Green Bay Packers at the Washington Commanders. Packers are coming off of a, a, a loss. Yeah, a loss. A loss to the, a loss to the Jets. Yeah, the Jets. Um, and the Commanders are coming off of a win, I think. Yeah, or yeah, a win versus the Bears. Um, this game, I think the Packers will bounce back and win 30-18. to 18. Now we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Carolina Panthers. Um, Buccaneers coming off of a really bad loss to the Steelers. That's pretty embarrassing. And the Panthers are obviously coming off the loss. This game, I think the Buccaneers will win no problem at all, 31 to 13. That might also be my lock of the week, too. Now we have the New York Giants at the Jacksonville Jaguars. This might be the hardest game of the whole week because Giants might actually... 
Giants might actually be a decent team. I mean, there's they're five and one, and I mean they they've actually beaten a few good teams. Um, their one loss is to the Cowboys, though. Um, yeah, Giants might actually be a decent team. Daniel Jones might not be a complete garbage quarterback. He actually might be okay. Um, and then Jacksonville had a good start to the season, but have crumbled since then. This game, I think the Giants will win 23-21, to 21, but the Jaguars could win. Now the two 3.05 p.m. games. We have the New York Jets against or at the Denver No Offense Broncos. Broncos are coming off of, of course, another loss. And Jets are coming off of a win. This might be the first time ever, but I'm actually predicting the Jets to win. If the Jets win, they will be 5-2. and two. Yeah, the Jets of all teams. They'll be 5-2 and two if they win. Right now, they're 4-2. and two. But, yeah, I think the Jets will win 17-12. to 12. Now we have the Houston Texans at the Las Vegas Raiders. The Texans are coming off of a bye week, and the Raiders are also coming off of a bye week. Who do I think will win this game? I think the Raiders will win no real problem, 29 to 16. Now we have a 2 3 25 p.m. game. The Seattle Seahawks at the Los Angeles Rams. No, that's Los Angeles Chargers. Seahawks are coming off of a. I don't know. And Chargers are coming off of a off of a win. I don't know right now, but I think the Chargers will win this game. No problem that much. 34 to 24. But I actually would not be surprised if the Seahawks win. I think they have a legitimate chance to win because their offense has been crazy this season. So yeah. Now we have the Kansas City Chiefs at the San Francisco 49ers. Chiefs are coming off of a loss to the Bills, and 49ers are coming off of a, I don't win, no, they're coming off of a, I don't know, but I think the Chiefs will win pretty easily, 31 to 20, that's the same score as Super Bowl 55, or no, Super Bowl 54, Chiefs 31, 49 Now we have Sunday night football, 7.20 p.m. on NBC. The Pittsburgh Steelers at the Miami Dolphins. Steelers are very bad. They are coming off of a surprising win against the Buccaneers. And the Miami Dolphins are coming off of a loss against the um, Vikings. But I think the Dolphins do get two a Tiger by a lower back. So that's why I have them winning. I Even with Teddy Bridgewater, they would probably still win with their other backup. I don't know, but with Tua playing, I think they will win 26 to 17. Now we have Monday Night Football, 7.15 p.m. on ESPN. We have the Chicago Bears at the New England Patriots. The Patriots are coming off of a... And the Chicago Bears are coming off of a stupid, stupid loss against the Commanders. The Bears had so many chances to score. And how many points did they score? A whole seven points. If the Bears win, I will literally... To anybody watching this, um, I might not be able to make a short very um in, in in a little bit but when i do if the bears lose this game the top comments on the next short i make i will do i have the patriots winning 21 to 9 the bears are so bad it's not even funny so yeah next short i come out i don't know when it'll be but yeah keep in mind for that I'll do the top comment on that. Just don't make it anything really ridiculous. Just make it just something stupid. That's 
gonna be it. Not. I don't think I. I don't know if I did this last week, but the teams on by this week are the Los Angeles Rams, Minnesota Vikings, Philadelphia Eagles, and Buffalo Bills. And every every time there's a team on by, I will pick a team who I think is basically just the best team, or who I think will win the bye week. Who will that be? Well, it's four good teams, the Rams, the Vikings, the Eagles, the Bills, and the worst team there as of this season has honestly probably been the former Super Bowl champion, the Rams. Well, who do I think will win this game? This game? The Buffalo Bills, they're just the best team in the NFL. I mean, you don't really need to say much, they're just so good, and that's pretty much it. I'll do that every week. I don't remember if I did it last week, but the team I think would have won last week would have been the Las Vegas Raiders. So that's my picks. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, you can leave a like. If you like my videos a lot, you can subscribe. Grow to 65 subscribers. And that's going to be it. And as always, go Rangers and F you Astros. Go Yankees. I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.